In this section you can learn how to tie a square knot. In the illustration you can see how a square knot is constructed. It consists of four throws with a single loop in each throw. In other words, it consists of a regular square knot which has received two additional throws in order to strengthen the knot. It is common practice amongst manufacturers of suture material to recommend at least three and up to five throws in order to create a stable knot, so four throws fits most suture materials. This is the reason we have chosen this standard. The manufacturers of suture materials generally recommend that the surgeon uses the knot technique that he or she has been trained in. To tie a proper knot, pull the thread flat against the tissue. This way you follow the direction of the stitches, otherwise the suture may lose tensile strength and break, as shown in the illustration. This illustration will show how a square knot is tied, step by step. The needle holder should be positioned between the two thread ends for each throw. Here you can see how the needle holder is positioned between the two thread ends as at the beginning of the first throw. The long end of the thread is wound once around the tip of the needle holder for each throw. This way a loop of thread is produced around the needle holder. After, the short end of the thread is gripped with the jaws of the needle holder and pulled through the loop. The knot is tightened by pulling with equal force on both ends of the thread. Notice that the arms are crossed on the first throw. On the next throw, the needle holder is again positioned between the two thread ends. The long end of the thread is wound once around the tip of the needle holder and the short end of the thread is pulled through the loop. This time the short end of the thread is pulled in the opposite direction of the first throw to tighten the knot. For this reason you will open your arms when the knot is tightened. Repeat the process from the first throw to make the third throw and repeat the process from the second throw to make the fourth throw. That way the short thread changes sides for each throw and the knot will settle properly. The finished square knot locks itself. The more tension the knot is subjected to, the tighter it will be. This is in contrast to sliding knots or incorrectly performed square knots, which will get looser or released completely when exposed to tension. The square knot is a stable knot and is used both with an interrupted stitch or at the beginning and end of the continuous suture. 